Okay, stinky fans. Um, 150 miles in, well, 150 miles into my trip, and to see my pet, well, parents, or my mum and my sister. And I thought I'd take a diversion. It's such a gorgeous day. I thought I'd pull over and do a bit of recording. We're actually on top of Cranbourne Chase at the moment. Uh, we're on the road between Tollard Royal or Royal and Shaftesbury. Now this road is one of my favourite roads. I used to ride this a lot back when I used to live down here. Uh, 20 odd years ago. Well, I lived here before 20 years ago, but I used to ride this a lot on the bike. And I think you'll see why very shortly. Lots of birds and wildlife here. It's on a, a chalk downland. And you get a bird called the Skylark up here. And the Skylark is the only bird that can actually sing whilst in flight. So there you go. A bit of a useless information for you. But uh, yeah. I mean, you've obviously got the Salisbury Plain, which is over that way as well. You're not that far from Salisbury. So anyway, we'll head off, and we'll head off into Shaftesbury, it's only about 10 miles uh, or so to Shaftesbury, and uh, I'll show you something in Shaftesbury that a lot of people here in the UK don't know. So, yeah, I have lots of arguments with people, especially from Yorkshire, about this subject, but you will find that out very shortly. Like to cool down, obviously. You gotta be careful on this road because cars come stonking around here pretty damn quick. Yeah, this is so one of my favourite roads because basically it follows the Ridgeway. Uh, around here is a lot of Oldman roads, and obviously, back in the years when the roads weren't that good. You'd have a lot of bandits. So in the age of stagecoach and horse and cart transport and goods to and from, what a lot of them used to do is go along the top of the ridgeways. I told you they fucking don't hang about around here, didn't I? I'm doing 17, that guy's just overtook me. You've got to be keeping your wits about you up here because it's a pretty and uh, a lot of the tourists come up here and they're playing with their sat navs and in the caravan so you've really got to keep your eyes on it's about you and there's a lot of bumps and lumps in this road so i haven't ridden this for years so i'm not that 100 percent au fait with it so i'm going to take it a little bit steady around here so yeah but this is basically my backyard or part of it or used to be my backyard. Uh, about 100 and 120 miles from home in a straight line. And this is where I am. There is it. Deepest, darkest Dorset. Home of the Jurassic Coast. Uh, that mainly refers to Swanage. Anything else? But this, I think, is Fred Eagle Hill. I'm not sure. So brain's not functioning very well at the moment. Yeah, this is Spread Eagle. This is Spread Eagle Hill. So, pretty sure it's Spread Eagle Hill. Yeah. Looks like it. It looks familiar. So I haven't done this hill for absolutely ages. You've got to be a bit careful. Um, basically, it's like the snake but it's downhill or uphill if you're coming the other way and uh, very very twisty good for keeping your wits about you though it's good for having a play of course you've got to be careful this time of year because caravans tend to come up here all down here and uh, they tend to take all the bloody road because they obviously need to get round. I've brought, I've brought 40 foot coaches up here as well. <laughs> that was interesting. So, yeah, that was spread eagle. Pretty sure it was. I might have been wrong. I might be wrong. 
probably am. But anyway, it's a good little bit of road. So I, I should have really double checked what I was doing, but I've come down to deliver some birthday stuff. So I thought I'd rather make it into a chore, make it into an adventure. Mind you, every day for me is an adventure, just getting up in the morning is an adventure for me. But uh, yeah, this is, as I say, this is deepest, darkest Dorset. Uh, Northern Dorset. You get lots of thatched counties here, and ain't it quite? We're actually in an area called Wessex now, or area around about Wessex. Um, and uh, Wessex is, oops, excuse me, Wessex is uh, Thomas Hardy, uh, far from the Madding crowd, that sort of thing. And that's where he did a lot of his writing and stuff around here, or lived around here. I've got a really itchy fucking nose at the moment. So, here we go. Yeah. There we go, little thatch cottages. Uh, basically, if you have to ask how much a house is down here, you can't afford it. There's like two and a half times the price of what I live in. So, uh, yeah. It's the area though, mainly. A spin in the Shaftesbury. Shaftesbury? because um, I haven't been back here properly for ages. So I'll work out where I am because I don't normally come in this way. There we go. Oh, I know where I am. <laughs> I know where I am. What we're going to do is we're going to head off down the back road to the town centre and hopefully I'll be able to park this in the car park and then take you for a little wander down to this thing I want to show you. Thank God it ain't Saturday. It's bad enough for the Muppets as it is, let alone fucking on Saturday. It's nice here, isn't it, Ethel? We're sitting in our caravans on crawl and getting every bloody bugger's fucking wet. Oh, it oh, gets thump. Not like this at all, is it, Ethel? Nah, darling. Right, a bit of information for you. Uh, Salisbury's not far from here, uh, about 20 miles from here. And there's a cathedral in Salisbury. Alright, yeah. But it's actually built in a dip. And the third step of Shaftesbury, as in where we are now, Shaftesbury Town Hall, is actually the same height above sea level as the top of Salisbury Cathedral Tower. Or the spire. So there you go. But yeah, we used to have a really good cattle market here, but I don't know if they still have. But you're not far from Somerset either. So you're on the top of the right at the top. Yeah, I've spent many a day down through here. Here.
careful because Antiquant. So I've got to work out where we are and get to it. Okay. Been a while. Been a long while. I'm a bit out of practice, as it were. Aha! That's what we're looking for. The Blackfoot gifts. Hopefully, if I'm really lucky, we can pull over just up near there. Because we used to be able to do years ago. That's where we want to go, down that track there, by the church, with the craft fair thing. That's where we want to go. Because, aha, uh -huh. this will do, this will do nicely. We'll take a little walk, he thinks. I feel like a dork walking along with a bloody helmet on and a camera. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Right. Now, is that this one or that one? Here we go. The clue is into that there. It says Gold Hill Museum. What's the special about Gold Hill? Well, it's cobbled for a start. Okay. It's medieval. Uh, 1600s. Or something like that. So as you walk down here and you take a gander down the track. Okay. This was in an advert that's on been on British TV for Hovis Bread. And the advert is a bloke or little lad pushing his push bike up this street and saying, Nana always says it's a long way for a loaf of bread. That's from the Hovis advert. Okay, it's not very long because there on that car was his tarmac. But this is the where it was actually filmed. It's about 100 yards, 250 yards, if that. And that's where it was filmed. So when you ask you to do tour work, and I'm on tour, and say, oh yeah, we're going to see how this habit was filmed. It's in Yorkshire, it ain't. It's actually in deepest, darkest Dorset. Shaftesbury. Okay, we used to, they used to have a, a thing up here with a saying the Hovis advert was filmed here. But I don't know if they've got it anymore. No, nope, they haven't. But that's where the Hovis advert was filmed. In Tickwit. Yeah. They don't have it anymore. But that is where the Hovis advert was filmed. See, told you that I'd. Uh, so yeah, a few bits and bobs that you've never seen. The days of being a tall driver, huh? But just up there, I think where the Oxfam shop used to be, a place called Mockham's Butchers. And there's a cell, butchered pigs, work in abattoir. And I used to work in there. And you could get fresh faggots and fresh pork sausages and all sorts of stuff. Yep. Gillingham. I did say Gillingham, not Gillingham. This is Gillingham in Kent. And uh, my favourite trick. People to get the HGV drivers wanting to Kent and up here. <laughs> Quite funny. They're spelt the same but pronounced different. We'll head off to Blandy Ford and I can get some dinner. Also, just around here, or just over towards Blandford Way. 
where they uh, had or have the um, Great Dorset Steam Fair. It used to be held at Star Plane Bushes, but it was so muddy there that they decided to move it on the top end, top of the pass, uh, where it's chalky, so the cars don't get bogged in so much. Which was all right for the people going to the Steam Fair, but bloody awful for the locals. Because we used to make an absolute fortune, if you had a four wheel drive, when the Steam Fair was on, we used to go up there and charge people five pounds a time to tow the cars out. And that was like 15, 20 years ago. So as you can imagine, you know, that was a lot of money back in them days. It's still a lot of money now, not that back then. So, anyway, I'm gonna pull over a minute and I'll turn this off, this camera off, hopefully. And then we'll... save a bit of battery power, a bit of the memory power so that I can have more to show you unfortunately my other camera hasn't arrived yet so I'm going to make do with this uh, so there you go everybody raves on about the snake pass and woodhead and all the rest of it but they forget Dorset and Devon have got some fucking awesome roads. And we'll pull over here and I'll turn the camera off and save it for a little bit. 